Good Motzei Shabbos to all our audience. Uh, um, it's me again, Daniela Sor. I hope uh, you were listening to my uh, radio program uh, last Motzei Shabbos. I started with my own personal story uh, about uh, uh, how I made a tshuva how I made a tshuva after uh, living uh, Judaism altogether and converting to Christianity and uh, even um, uh, was involved in a missionary activity in, in the States, in Florida. Um, I was telling you how I, I, uh, I was an officer in the Israeli Air Force and then I left um, I left uh, to the States and I started to deal with uh, Giorgio Armani, Versace fashion. Um, went on with my secular life, uh, trying to uh, make uh, some uh, living, some money, and then, and then having little money to purchase an airplane of my own. And uh, then I started to study uh, flying. And as I told you uh, last week, then at the age of 30, I was already married with um, a Dutch, a, a Catholic woman. And um, I was a flight instructor in, in the States. Um, my life went on. I got involved in a missionary activity. And then I got a phone call from my brother-in-law that was uh, that already uh, left the states i told you i told you that my brother in law last time was a priest that converted to judaism he was uh, on a contract with the uh, arachim movement he used to tell his own story in in the seminar uh, seminars of arachim trying to reach out to jewish uh, people and to uh, make them uh, understand what Judaism is all about, or to open their heart toward Judaism. And he uh, used to live uh, here in uh, in uh, Tifrach, in a little settlement here nearby uh, Be'er Sheva, in the south of Israel, by the Negev, at the Negev. He made a phone call to me and he told me that he, he have a... Uh, that he, he, Actually, my sister, I have a I have a baby, and I told him Mazal Tov, and he had a, a little discussion with me, revealing to me that he knows my secret, and he knows exactly what I'm doing in the States, um, despite the fact that I was trying to... Um, to trying to hide everything that I was doing, uh, not letting my family know that I'm married, that I converted, that I'm a missionary, that I'm not holding no more to Judaism. And I am started to uh, um, basically get, get nervous in the, in, the, in, uh, in, in the conversation. And I told him to back, back up and, and, and have his own life. And he told me, you, you know, you, you're my brother, you're my brother-in-law. Let's have a, a a real conversation. I know everything you're doing, and uh, I know uh, Rabbi Yosef again. I know uh, I, I know uh, Rabbi Israel Tauber. I know that you met them. Uh, let's uh, let's get together, and and uh, and it's, it's either you or me. One of us have made a mistake. You are an intelligent person. I am an intelligent person. One of us have done the wrong thing if if i i did made the wrong thing then i'm willing to go back and if you have done the wrong thing i'm i'm not even asking you um to to keep the mitzvot it's it's your your own problem and if you want then keep the mitzvot but do not have don't harm uh, uh, the jewish people don't try to reach to preach the gospel or to to uh, to um, uh, try to convince them to come to christianity 
it was a, a, a rough argument over the phone. My sister was listening, and uh, she started to cry there, and he told me, you know, uh, you just never believe me that, that you are a missioner, and um, she's, she's here listening to the conversation. Um, I asked him to to let me speak with her, and he and she she started to to cry and tell me how come how could you do such a thing? We come from a righteous people, a righteous uh, a, 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 a grandfather, a righteous uh, a, a fathers, and how how come you converted without uh, um, even checking well enough what Judaism is all about? Why didn't you? Um, uh, uh, why, did you why did you? didn't you let us know that you have a problem? And I told her I'm, that I'm willing to meet her, her husband, and to have an an, an argument, theological argument with him. But um, I have a, one condition: uh, you're not allowed to tell my mother, to tell my brothers, uh, to tell my family, because if so, then. I will disconnect myself um, from even having a, a, any contact with her or with her, her husband. She she agreed agreed to the to the condition. She didn't have much cho- much of a choice. That's what I told her. And then I was willing to meet her husband when he will come at, to the states for a theological argument. Like I told you, I told my friends in the church and and and, and the pastor and uh, the old pastor that was guiding all the group the, the group of pastors there uh, that uh, that I'm actually um, my family uh, was was uh, knows and and they were able to to um, to know that I converted and. Um, and that my brother-in-law, actually he's a priest that converted, and he told me that I should come more often and should study Christianity to to a much larger uh, depth, so I can I can save the prayer of the church, and and maybe even it's a good opportunity to try through my brother-in-law to convert my family to Christianity. I know it sounds to you uh, horrible, but that back then I, I thought that it's, a, it's the right thing to do. And uh, I was um, going to, to um, uh, 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 lectures in Christianity, trying to uh, increase my knowledge about uh, the New Testament, unfortunately. And uh, thinking that the right way is to try to maybe try to convert my family through my brother-in-law. And uh, five months after, as we we agreed to meet each uh, each other in Monsey, I met my brother-in-law, and um, I flew to New York, and then. Um, we met each other, and I, I was the, during the day. I was with my my family, and then I uh, at, at at night we went to Rabbi uh, Yosef again in Mansi. Um, there was a nearby the synagogue. There was a room. I don't know how it was a small, nice room. And uh, some rabbis were waiting there, and I, I had a small little table, waiting for me. But there were, you know, like a half a circle around me, uh, like fifteen rabbis. And I asked them, "Who are, who are?" I asked my brother-in-law, "Who are those people?" I didn't come to argue with all those people on my own all along. It's it's not even a, a, a fair thing to do. It's not a fair argument. Then uh, Rabbi um, uh, Rabbi Doctor Batesh Itzchak Batesh, that came especially from uh, Mexico. He came early uh, two year uh, two days um, 
before the seminar started to meet me. Um, he told me, you're right, and you don't have to, uh, to answer every, uh, every question we ask. Just write it down. We're going to write it down and uh, be honest. Be honest. If you don't have an answer, just go back and, and ask yourself and ask uh, the, the pastors around you. If you want, you can call to the Vatican. You can ask anywhere. I, I'm sure that you're not going to find uh, a theological answer to, to my questions. So I told him, yes, that's what, I, that's what I'll do. I will write down the questions uh, that you're asking that I don't know to answer. And then I'm going to fax you an, the answers if you want in, in a few months. Uh, he told me, yes, take your time. Just make sure that you are an honest person, that if you find out that you were wrong, that you're harming your nation, your people, your family, your own soul, uh, 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 rejecting your own identity. And all I'm asking is just leave your missionary activity and, and, uh, and go. Uh, go to search for another job for living. Um, what I, 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 I was, I agreed to be, to be, uh, an, an honest, uh, honest person. And I told him, ask him if he is an honest person, if I will convince him whether he will convert to Christianity. And all the rabbis started to laugh, and he told me, "Yes, do, do not touch my my hand." But I, I, I'm an honest person, and I was already searching. Um, I, I was about to convert uh, to Christianity, uh, to get married with uh, a, a gentle woman, a gentile woman, and and um, I um, then uh, was called to take care of an old man in. Uh, in uh, Mexico, and when I arrived to his house and I saw so many books in his uh, um, uh, little library, uh, private library in his house, then I I realized that he probably was a, a, a really wise old man, and I started to take care of him, and and then I used to come a little more often and I asked him whether he can answer my questions. And he told me, yes, he can answer my questions. And then I started to ask questions. And then one thing, uh, he asked me one, one question. The question was, that, that insulted me, that's what he told me. The question was, are you, are you in control? Actually, you're about to convert, you're about to, about to get married. Are you in, in a control, under control? Are you doing a, a really an intelligent act by doing such a thing uh, by converting do you know what do you have in your hand what judaism is all about maybe you have diamonds in your hand and you are giving it up and taking maybe who you knows stones instead uh, and then uh, rabbi uh, rabbi doctor uh, itzhak batesh told me that i i felt that i'm insulted by i'm because I, I used to have everything under my control. And all of a sudden he, he asked me whether I, I realized that I don't know enough about Judaism and I'm not exactly under control and I'm giving up something that I really do, don't know well enough. So I decided to really study a little more about Judaism and then maybe to give it up. So I used to come a little more often to that old man and, and, uh, in Mexico and uh, and study with him in, in, in Torah or study about Judaism. He chose the subject, and then after a few months, I realized that I'm that I'm I'm not going to give up on my Judaism, my identity. It was a big mistake. That's what he told me. And then uh, I canceled the marriage. And I decided not to get married with a, a Gentile. So. When he told me he told me that story, it was a, like a wake up call uh, to do the same and, and to imitate him. And I thought to myself, yes, why not? I really don't know my, well enough my own Judaism and my own 
identity. Um, I become uh, uh, a orphan. My father died when, when I was very young, so and I become a orphan, and I don't know well enough my my own Judaism. So maybe it's a it's a good opportunity really to to um, go over over it again and and then and be have a little more uh, uh, peaceful emotions not not to, to avoid the and to, to try to avoid the conflict from in from within from what I, inside me um, uh, whether I'm doing uh, the wrong th- wrong thing and I'm harming the the wrong people and that's the feeling that I that I I was asking myself many questions. My my my, my consciousness used to to uh, really bother me. So I, I I decided to do it. Finally, uh, one once for, for at, at once and and to make sure for forever that I'm that I'm doing that I'm on the right path, doing the right thing. The argument took all night. The rabbis uh, start to ask questions. I was writing all the questions that I don't know to answer. And then uh, I was asking them questions. They answered the question. It was um, all the questions was um, quite reasonable to me, well understood. Uh, I started I started even not to understand myself toward the end of the argument, but I I told myself don't uh, don't don't give up uh, don't give up so soon go back and ask uh, your pastors and then and then really do uh, something real not not a quick thing and 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 take your time and really allow myself allow yourself to uh, to make a a, a good decision um uh, something that, that you're going to feel good with it uh, so, um, when they started to pray in the morning, it was uh, from 11.30 at night till 7, 7.30 in the morning. Uh, so, they, they made a minion there, and I left the place after with a list of questions that I couldn't answer. But I was, um, I was quite sure that if I go back to Florida, I will have some some answers to my questions and I uh, and probably I have many many friends in the church I'm gonna be able to search and find and and fax the answers I can uh, all I can say is it was another day with my family with my sister and my her her uh, young baby and and my brother-in-law and then I left back to Florida, and then uh, my uh, search started. Every Sunday I used to come to the gathering of the pastors and to ask questions that I got uh, through the facts that uh, used to come more uh, more often and more often during the week, but I was keeping them for the gathering on Sunday. And then I used to stand and ask some questions and see how they respond to the questions, to the theological questions. I was allowed to to ask ask my questions there, and uh, and and basically I never got real answers. Uh, they used to like wipe me out with 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 the. Their um, short uh, answers, or uh, not, um, I'd say not exactly uh, uh, sufficient ar- uh, answers that I can, that I can feel uh, uh, quiet and, and peaceful with them. And I started really to understand that I have a little problem here. Many many questions are coming. Um, uh, from the rabbis around around the world, getting faxes from all over the place, from Israel, from uh, New York, from Washington, from Europe. Um, and Dr. Botesh just gave the fax to many people to fax me, and then I just, uh, probably people that 
converted from Christianity to Judaism, uh, and they knew well enough the material to ask questions that the church could not answer. After a year, almost a year of uh, not not having answers for the new questions that that that, that I got, um, I felt that I'm really in, in, in trouble, probably not on the right path. Um, I saw that those uh, people that I was uh, surrounded with uh, were nice, were polite, but uh, they were not able to really answer uh, um, uh, my questions so I can I can feel peaceful, peaceful and, and, and comfortable with my new my new decisions of 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 become of, of being a, a a Christian or being a, a, a Jewish for Jesus or being a whatever a Protestant a, a, any in any ways I realize that I cannot hold to the New Testament, so I decide not to come, not to go uh, uh, to the church no more. Um, that got me a little more into a trouble with my my wife because she used to go on sundays and uh, she asked me why why aren't you coming um <clears throat> i used to have uh, many excuses she knew about the argument but um i didn't tell her what's going on uh, and and what what is my, exactly my pro my my problems because i i realized that i cannot uh, uh, cause her to be unstable emotionally and, and she could not hold uh, what I went through so um, I decided to keep it for my own self and to have my own research and then maybe uh, later on to have an influence on her if I could if I can and see whether being with her it's it's the right thing um, so I keep it to my own self for that time being um, after uh, uh, almost a year of of uh, of uh, such an argument then I, um, I one day I got a phone call from my one of my friends that told me that his father which was one of the pastors uh, died and I should come to the funeral and then I came to the funeral and um, I was in shock to see to see this, the ceremony of, of how they 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 um, say goodbye to the to the to the death how to how they pass through and it was a, a very shocking uh, um, event to me and um, right after that uh, Steve the son of of, of uh, that uh, old uh, old pastor used to call me to call me a lot and and basically he even um, asked me to to come and and have a serious discussion he, he realized that i'm that i'm leaving the church and, and he asked me why are you doing it and, and and i told him look i have many faxes and many questions that i couldn't answer and he told me that he's aware of it and he, he's also hesitating uh, and not having really uh, an answers for for the questions, and um, he flew to to Jerusalem uh, with his wife uh, for for the first time to to visit in in, in uh, uh, Christian places, uh, um, holy, holy places in in Israel in Jerusalem, and he asked me to. Um, to arrange a meeting uh, between him and my brother-in-law uh, in Jerusalem. He flew uh, to Israel, and when he was there in Israel, and he met my brother-in-law, then he was um, walking around Jerusalem uh, with a tour, a tour guide uh, with my brother-in-law, and, and, and with an open Bible. And my brother-in-law was was able to show him some prophecies that was fulfilled, that, like I mean, uh, Hosea and Jeremiah, 
and 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 Yechazkel, the prophets, were prophesizing about the, the the building of building of Jerusalem in the end of time, about the coming, uh, uh, the Jewish people coming from all over the world to back to the land of Israel, and he was showing him some prophecies. He was showing him Jerusalem being built, uh, showing him. Uh, uh, the streets of Jerusalem, uh, the Kotel, the Western Wall, uh, showing him uh, the branches of uh, of, of uh, old people that sitting there, and 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 a prophecy that Od Yeshvuz Kenimuz cannot build Chovot Yerushalayim, and he was very amazed. He was he was um, he realized that that actually the the Bible is pointing out who are the right people of the Bible who are the real Israelite and, and um, you know the church claim that they inherit the blessing they are become the right Israelite after we rejected uh, their Messiah uh, and, and therefore when he realized that actually the, the, the all the end of time prophecies are being fulfilled by us he was uh, he was in shock. He was uh, he he told me we went to we we went to the old city of Jerusalem, and instead of going to the to the church uh, there, right there uh, or the Via de la Rosa and uh, the church of uh, where uh, Jesus was uh, was buried, then he went to the Western Wall with my brother-in-law. And and when he was in Bethlehem, instead of going to 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 the church uh, where of of uh, of the the birth uh, ch- church of uh, Jesus, then he went to Kever uh, Rachel uh, with my brother-in-law. I actually I I I was traveling and I visited Israel once, but I've done exactly the opposite. Instead of going to Kever Rachel in Bethlehem, I crossed the street to go to the to the church of where where Jesus was born, okay, the, the, the birth church of, of of Jesus. And instead of going to the Western Wall, I was uh, far enough from Judaism to see all the Orthodox uh, uh, people and to feel that I'm no 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 I'm, I don't want to to go to the western wall I want to to to, to go to the church where you know uh, the, to the via de, de la rosa I I I was insulted by him saying such a thing when he came back to the states he, he told me what he exactly he have done and he told me that his his mother used to call him and and to tell him why did you leave the church uh, his father died, and, and his father was guiding the church. He was ministering the church, and, and and he was supposed to to go on with the ministry. And, and why did you leave? Why did you leave? Why didn't you go on with uh, with the ministry? And he told her that he wanted to come once in his life to see the holy places in Jerusalem, but actually, he holy places of Christianity. That was his excuse, but actually he didn't go there. He went to to the other places. He saw them from far, but he was with my brother-in-law. Uh, didn't have even um, uh, um, uh, the emotional need to go to see the places where he he was of his own uh, inheritance. Uh, uh, I mean, according to. I mean, to, to go to see his his own legacy, he came to Israel, came to the Middle East, and after coming for the first time and meeting my brother-in-law, he was more convinced to go with him and not to to leave him uh, and go. Uh, that uh, it was really surprising to me uh, uh, hearing to his own story. Um, um, and understanding that I've done the exactly the opposite thing, and I ask myself, uh, how come I went so far? How come such a thing happened to me that I was rejecting Judaism emotionally so so hard that I could not even stand coming close to the Western Wall 
it, it, it raises many, many questions inside me, a, a big conflict, and I, and I realize it's something um, that I have to check for my own self. Um, uh, why? What happened? All I can say is, basically, my conclusion is, uh, I, since my father died when I was young, and I was spending my childhood in a, in a dormitories around around the country in Israel, and and, and suffering from, from I would say, um, social economic problems, and probably the condition was. A bad condition. I didn't open my heart well enough and good enough to listen to the message of Judaism and to be abounded with it, uh, so I can not give it, give up. Uh, I was, I was searching for other life, for a solution somewhere else. I was trying to run away from something, and I realized that I, as soon I found another spirituality despite the fact that i was claiming to myself that i'm i'm searching for a, a universal message rather than a, a local truth in the middle east uh, and maybe in, Christ, in christianity it, in, trying to really give a, an international message or islam an international religion uh, and, and i realized actually that that was not not exactly the reason underneath the carpet, are underneath my subconsciousness. Uh, probably I had a another problem that was guiding me, without me able able to to recognize the real problem. I'm giving myself an excuses that I'm searching for the right truth around the world, but actually suffering from from uh, from trying trying to run away from 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 my own identity because the condition was 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 probably um a, a suffer by raising in such a an environment uh, that could not give give me an answer on one hand uh, and i was hiding my questions i needed that judaism will not be true so i can run away from it and find myself in another place uh, and and dream far to find uh, uh, heaven somewhere else uh we're gonna we're gonna uh, make a little break here and uh, listen to a little music and then we'll go on with uh with the story